All right, what's up everybody? Ryan Clevenger, AKA InstaClev. Today, another beer review. Surprise, surprise. I have an alcohol problem, and I also have a Create Your Own Six Pack that I bought specifically to do beer reviews that I need to get the fuck out of my fridge. So that's what brings us to today's Common Man's Beer Review. Um, we have, took me a second, Not Your Father's Fruit Punch. How do I know it's not your father's fruit punch? Because my father is a man. I don't know why I'm leaning up in the camera like, what's up? Because my father's a man and he wouldn't drink fruit punch because he's a man. And you're welcome for that joke because I've been thinking about that joke ever since I bought this six pack like four weeks ago. So, boom. Alexa, was that funny? I forgot that I unplugged Alexa. That's on me. Um. I've not had the Not Your Father's Fruit Punch. I've had the Not Your Father's Root Beer, which I think was their original. They're the ones that kind of started this hard soda type thing that's been going around lately. 5% alcohol by volume, I do like that. Um, oh, also, if you've not watched my videos, this is not like a special, no, scientific, uh, proper, proper beer review, because um, I know nothing about specialities of beers, specialities is a word, but I'm just going to tell you what I think about it. Uh, on the side it says we've taken your favorite nostalgic flavor, I don't know who got that fruit punch was your favorite nostalgic flavor, and made it a bit more grown up. It's like family trips in the summer, except now you're in Vegas and you can't find your friend Randy. One, how many people nowadays has a friend named Randy? I know one Randy, and it's just an associate. I don't even know her, so I gotta take that back. Friend of a friend, and it's a female named Randy with an I. Only Randy I could think of. I'm 29 years old. Can't think of anybody my age. Also, I associate a lot of things with Vegas, but not Fruit Punch, not your father's beer. Not Fruit Punch beer. Uh, I associate $30 poolside drinks with Vegas. Um, Gambling problems, vodka Red Bulls, um, four hour flights I almost get kicked off of because I'm so hungover I'm puking in the security line. But that's just a personal thing. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this, so we'll let you zoom in on this. I don't know if it's zoomed in or not. Whatever. Intriguing, intriguing little bottle I guess you would say. I think I said 5% alcohol, blah blah blah. Small town brewery, unique ingredients made with an unmistakable taste of nostalgia. They keep on going to nostalgia. All right, let's just pop into this little guy. First things first, it's not a twist off, so give me a second. So just a little tip, if you're gonna get a little not your father's root beer, it's not a twist off. Have a bottle over, I guess I could do it on the side of this table, but it's not my table, so I'm not doing that. Like anybody that has a drinking problem, I have a bottle opener on my keychain. I do have my bush light over here uh, to wash it out, uh, palate cleanser. Koozie of the day, camo koozie from a poker run that I went on with a friend. Jeep poker run. Smells like fruit punch. I had a little nostalgia there. Now I get what they're talking about nostalgia. Like I remember like being 10 years old and coming in from playing with dirt and making mud patties, coming home getting a little high C fruit punch. That's when we like, parents were feeling good and you weren't dirt ass poor, you know, like the high C, the fruit punch. That's when you like, you, they had a good week at work, you know? I mean, surprise, surprise, it kind of tastes like a fruit punch, but there's no like carbonation. There's no, there's honestly like no hint of beer. Maybe that's what he's going for here. Yeah, it just tastes like fruit punch. So like I said, no carbonation. There's like not beer at all. Like that Bud Light Lime that I tried, like, it had the orange flavor, but you could still tell it was a beer. This is just like fruit punch. I could pour this in my kids. And by my kids, I mean somebody else's kids. Sippy cup, wouldn't know the difference except for maybe 
After a couple sips, the fucking toddler is doing front rolls and fucking shoving Lego blocks in places they're not supposed to go. Which, if you think about it, they kind of do that shit already, so maybe somebody's slipping them, not your father's fucking fruit punch. I can only assume there's a shit ton of sugar in this. It's really not bad. Like, I could legit put a cup of regular non-alcoholic fruit punch, which I think is 95, let's go 99% of all fruit punch, and this in cups, let's see what this, hold on, let's see what this looks like. I got a wine glass, because I'm a classy broad, pinky out. Oh fuck, this shit even looks like fruit punch. They're not fucking around here. They get, you wouldn't fucking know. Swirl around. If anything, it smells like kinda like old fruit punch is maybe set out a little bit, like maybe that'd be. But you can't smell booze in this thing, so. Well. So my synopsis, if that's like a proper word, it's probably not, for this would be, go have you one. Like if your kids are having like a little play date and uh, you just kind of want to like, kind of like feel what they're going through. Like they're either running around, kicking balls, eating grass, whatever they're doing. And they're coming in and getting a little fruit punch, a little high C, if they still make that, I'm not sure. I keep on looking off to the camera, I apologize. Like to the, the screen that's recording me. But, so there I have a good time. You just want to kind of maybe like go back to that moment, which I made fun of the nostalgia at first. But this tastes like fucking fruit punch. No doubt about it. So just grab one of these bad boys. Throw it in a sippy cup. Throw it in a squirt bottle. Whatever you got to do. And this will take you right back to childhood. And if you want to feel like a classy bitch, put it in a wine glass. Somebody thinks you're like drinking a red wine. Might be a little... Ah, fuck, I don't know anything about wine. But that's it for today's uh, review of Not Your Father's Fruit Punch. Not bad, guys. Go get you some. And I can see after like three or four, just like being sweet and sitting on your stomach. But that'd probably be the only complaint. I only got one, so I don't have to worry about that. So thanks for watching. Uh, go like and subscribe. You know the ordeal. Other than that, it's Friday. Don't know if that's when I'm going to put this video out. But if so, have a great weekend. If not, disregard. Um, podcast in the link below. Allegedly coherent. Go check it out. Comedy podcast. Me and my buddy Ace. Blah, blah, blah. See ya.